Hello everyone, welcome back to KJPC Gaming. Let's play No Man's Sky. I don't know if I like that or not. I'll leave it to you. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Uh, today we are going to um, start Dreams of the Deep, which I already did. And we're going to go harvest our circuit boards, which I already did. And we're going to sell them for a really great price, which I really already did. But then my game crashed. <laughs> and when my game crashed, I lost the recording along with my game. Isn't that funny? <laughs> All right. So what I did was I went to the transmission tower and I got the uh, aeration membrane, a uh, hyper pressure death protection unit. <laughs> and now we can go swimming. And I hope the same ship is there because it was pretty cool. <laughs> Let's go get the Nautilus on. Uh, fingers crossed. I don't remember which planet it was on. Uh, it's over there. Oh, we gotta fly through the fleet. How about now? No, not now. Okay. How about now? No, not yet. How about now? <laughs> I was really, really upset because <laughs> it was great. Everything went to plan. That's why my game crashed because everything was going to plan. <laughs> We were five minutes to the end. <laughs> Take do. Oh my goodness gracious. What I need in my life is some more monster. <laughs> now as I recall... <laughs> This is quite a special landing that I'm going to have to do here. Let's see if I can find the same spit of ground that I landed on before. <laughs> there it is. I need to get above the water because I can't see the ground. Thank you. Now I'm going to have to come back around. Good grief. <laughs> All right. Let's go into first person. Because some things are just easier to do that way. Alright, easy does it there, radiant killer. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You'll just have to trust me that I wasn't able to do that in third person. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> now it's going to be dark. <laughs> Time passes even when your game crashes. <laughs> that was uh, the silly suit lady telling me this is an extreme uh, sentinel planet. I I did happen to notice that there was Hadel cores down there. I'm not going to get them again. It was just a side trip into hell. But um, Hadel cores uh, get uh, give you 50 nanites each. You can just toss them in your personal refiner. As you can see, we have a fan wing hauler down there. It's a C40. We are going to take it. I'll just, get <laughs> I'll just grab the Nautilon blueprint first. <laughs> Four souls. Most of the crew is dead. Everybody died. An asteroid hit the ship. And we had the plan for the Nautilon. Took that with us. Somehow we knew we would need it. <laughs> we also get the uh, blueprint for this uh, groovy thing. And uh, for fuel for the Nautilon, which I think is kind of ironic. Like, how else would you get the fuel for the Nautilon? Alrighty. Now then. <laughs> Once again... Let's uh, make a metal plate and a hermetic seal. Let's not drown. We've already got the 
pure ferrite and we need a dihydrogen jelly. All right. <laughs> somehow, somehow doing this twice makes it easier, but it's also frustrating <laughs> because we were so close. I almost made it to the end. <laughs> right. Oh, there's also a uh, launch thruster on this thing. I'll just grab that, put everything on the freighter. And we don't need to worry about the shield. This isn't permadeath. If uh, you get attacked while you're in flight on your way to the space station, um, you can fix your shield. It's just 50 chromatic metal and I think 25 sodium nitrate, 13 sodium nitrate. You have a personal refiner. You can make those things if the sodium nitrate. Oh boy, no crashing. <laughs> You should be carrying the chromatic metal and sodium nitrate by now. I should probably like put out a list of the things that you should carry uh, all the time just to make your life easier. Uh, but I think I've told you about this before. If you need something and you can't carry it around, um, you can build a base, bring your, build a container, build whichever container it's in, if it's in a container, whatever you need, and uh, just use your quick menu to get to it. You don't have to power it. This is going to fetch us quite a bit of money, so we have uh, almost 19 million. We're going to get this money. Boy, I'm afraid to do any fast movements now. I'm gun shy from the crash. <laughs> claim, cra uh, claim scrap worth eight and a half million dollars. <laughs> that is the number one most profitable way to scrap ships is to find them crashed. We're gonna get rid of these uh, modules. Uh, I've already been to this space station. Uh, I came here on my way to find frigates. And uh, yeah, that's right. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Maybe I should be using the ramps. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, how much money do we have now? Uh, we still have 18 million. What happened to the scrap? What happened to the money? Didn't I get paid? I didn't get paid. Maybe I did get paid. I just didn't get paid. Let's go home. <laughs> Something seems to have malfunctioned. <laughs> we had 19 million. Oh boy. Uh, at least I ended up at the teleporter this time. That's a good sign. Last time I ended up at the base computer. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> Hopefully we make some money on this. Sell garbage. Uh, agricultural canisters. Handful of cogs. Let's go all the way down to the bottom so it doesn't keep moving around. Uh, Subatomic regulators. Pressed indium scrap, fusion cores. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we only have 26 million. I'm really upset about that. I want my eight and a half million scrap money. <laughs> All right. 
Alrighty. Let's uh, say that we use the teleporter and don't. There we go. There's a frost port. <laughs> we'll just pretend like we ended up staring at the underside of the planet and don't. <laughs> Some extra star bulb. I planted a dome with gamma weed. Uh, this dome I planted uh, Sirius Lee's way uh, by going into the... What? What do you want me to make? Oh, you want me to build the Nautilon? Not right now. <laughs> uh, so I went into the build menu like that. And I went in and I planted and it was easier. I don't know about all the removing the hallways thing, but it was easier to plant. All right. Uh, not all of these are ripe. I was gonna start at the other end so I can start with the ripe ones. <laughs> Righty, we only want the ones with the sparkly uh, selenium. So let's go. Uh, sparkly, no. Sparkly, not yet. How about, no. Sparkly? Nope. <laughs> oh, sparkly. There we go. <laughs> we'll leave all those extras behind. Woohoo! I wish you could harvest in the build camera. Uh, for those of you that were worried about uh, plants under stairwells, no need to worry. See, there's a star bulb in my way. I'm just going to walk right through it. <laughs> Oops, that way. And for those of you that are <laughs> worried about me uh, not knowing about the north and south on the HUD, <laughs> I know the north and south are on the HUD. They aren't always. After uh, <laughs> after Beyond Drop, they weren't there. We had to get creative ways of uh, creative ways of finding our way around planets, but we figured it out. All right, let's do it. Uh, we need a bigger vehicle. <laughs> See, this I know ahead of time because this is the second time I've done it. Oh my goodness. That's a failure to launch. There we go. Upsy daisy. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, let's see here. Now we have 30 domes. I didn't pick them all because a few of them aren't ripe yet. Um, still got 45 out of it. I don't know why I was expecting another number. So you get 15 more if your uh, multi-tool is set up properly. Pretty cool. And 45 circuit boards. <laughs> oh boy, I really should get the macro. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I have all that extra on me. <laughs> Somebody's lost their mind. Look, it's broken. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think I can get all of these on me. <laughs> Did I really have that much extra? Oh, I can't get them all on me. Well, that's okay because uh, nifty, nifty deal here. Yes, suit lady, I know. The nifty deal in here is that we can sell to this little guy back here in the back room without crashing the economy. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I don't know why we, why I had that much extra. There's a uh, plus 23.6 percent. There's 56 million. And uh, Exocraft. 
<laughs> I'm not saving any of these because they'll be ripe again tomorrow. And oh, hi. <laughs> How's it going? How are you feeling today? Uh, plus 23.6 percent. See, it doesn't hurt the economy at all. Another 45 million. Uh, we now have 128 million. We can replace the freighter now. Uh, but we're not going to. I'm going to use that uh, money to buy a fighter and possibly, possibly a hauler. What's going on here? There we go. All right, this is the part. This is the part where the game crashed. I was flying up to the ship. I have an idea. Let's teleport. <laughs> Let's teleport to Sunaba Space Station. There we go. And then we'll fly out of Sunaba Space Station to the freighter. <laughs> I'm not gun shy. <laughs> I'm a little bit gun shy. <laughs> I'm not even going to look at my guy. I know he's just hanging there. <laughs> there we go. If we ever need to do uh, <laughs> the Bureau of Funny Walks, I got him. <laughs> Tippy tappy shuffle. All right. Now listen here, Hello Games. I just need to go to my freighter. Nothing fancy. No battles. No crazy fleets coming in. Oh, that was the wrong way to go. There's already a big ship over there. We'll go this way. <laughs> no pulsing. <laughs> no, no super high demands on the GPU. <laughs> this is really important. Return to the technician. <laughs> Wow. It's it's incredibly frustrating to make a video get so far and have your game crash and wipe your video out. Incredibly frustrating. So I could sit here and I could be angry and cussing and swearing and be upset. Um, or I could just laugh it off and do it again and do it better because I've had the experience of doing it the first time. So take two is always better than, you know, getting angry. <laughs> oh, I was going to, like, add some more monster to my already goof level. Yeah, that's a door jam. <laughs> All righty, here we go. There's our beautiful fleet, still pretty, still in great condition. After their first mission, my inventory's full. I'm not surprised. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm really not surprised. Plantos. Oh, I forgot to get rid of the activated copper again. Uh, cell thingy? There we go. <laughs> cell? Yellow stuff. There we go. There's a better price down, down on the planet. That's alright. I don't mind. Uh, gamma weed? Is that everything? Yes. Heptaloid wheat and other foods, butter, cream. Yeah. Uh, starship, starship, AV1 pass. Uh, I think I was keeping pugnium in one of these things. All right, that's one, two, that's special stuff. 
That looks like a good place. That actually needs to be here. Uh, no, I'll just put it away. I don't need that. That's fuel. Alright, here we go. Alright, now we can call in the fleet. I wonder if I'm going to remember <laughs> that all that stuff is in container one. <laughs> Woohoo! Here we go! Our first mission! 3,612 light years later, nobody got hurt. We got 18 destabilized sodium, 7 aronium, 3 hot ice! Woohoo! Uh, activated emerald, some cash money, superconducting fibers, some more hot ice, Viking daggers. Wow! Uh, 15 tetracobalt, more aeronium, a storage augmentation! <laughs> Chloride glasses. And we also got Prismatic Shipwright's Weapon, 817 years old, delicately made. The passing of time cannot hide the delicacy with which this tool was made. Possibly one of the finest examples of its type ever seen. But we don't know what it's used for. It's okay. All right, uh, we got some stuff for making stasis devices in that load. So we're going to go to number eight. We're going to move those things. Uh, aronium. I think it was just the aronium. Uh, no, we got hot ice too. Where'd that go? Uh, there it is. All right. Stasis device making stuff. Very cool. Now let's go over here and switch to the freighter cell. Activated emeralds, superconducting fibers. <laughs> Destabilized sodium. You can cook this off or just sell it. I just sell it. Uh, Viking daggers, we can buy those. Uh, this is just a trade item. Look, we're getting plus 24% for that. We will hang on to tetracobalt and chloride lattice. And yeah, I already have a place for tetracobalt. Finally, the fleet has been on one mission. And we have one B class already, a B27. Boy, she gained a lot of points. Uh, with uh, five combat, six exploration, and three trade. Um, and we gained plus six industry asteroid vaporizer. Awesome. Boy, that was fast. One, one mission. Every single one of these guys, uh, except for this one. Why didn't that one level up? Oh, not ready yet. You know, I did say that it's not as good a ship, but I like that five combat on there. So I'm paying for that five combat. She didn't get points in industry, but that's okay. We got that extra combat in there. Hi, boss. Uh, nine hours. That's all we've got is a nine-hour mission. But let's see here. 27, 24, and 26. 98. Yep, we still have to send all five. But only 350 tons of fuel this time. It's half the length of a mission. So it's uh, it's just a little bit less than half. So a little bit less than half the fuel. But next time we probably won't have to send all five to get five stars. Which is awesome sauce. All right. <laughs> The only reason I made these things is because I had, uh, <laughs> I had extra. All right, you guys, let's go over here. <laughs> End where we ended last time, in the light. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a successful day! This is our very first super successful day. We have a hundred and thirty-two million units now. Um, we lost eight and a half million to a bug. I don't know why we didn't get that money, but it's okay because we more than made up for it. 
Um, I'm going to go ship hunting. Uh, this system isn't very good. Um, Sunaba is a fledgling economy. But there's a really nice looking tier 3 fighter here. Uh, she's uh, bicolored blue on blue. And uh, she's, she's really nice. Hopefully I'll be able to find it in a B or an A class. I did see the A38 one time. And uh, if I can find it, I will take you along on that journey. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. We'll see you tomorrow with something. <laughs> Have a great day.